And with that, I wanted to introduce Dr. Henry to lead uh, to start today's briefing. Thank you. Um, thank you. And um, I want to start off by uh, letting you know that we unfortunately have had a death here in British Columbia. We are deeply saddened to uh, to hear that um, one of the residents of the Lynn Valley Care Home who was infected with COVID-19 passed away last night. And our heartfelt condolences go out to his family and loved ones, and also, of course, to the staff who provided him care and to his home at the Lynn Valley Care Centre. We also have a number of new cases, and I'll start with talking about what is going on at the Lynn Valley Care Centre. We're up to 32 um, confirmed cases here in British Columbia now. Um, as you know, uh, the Vancouver Coastal Health has been on site at the Lynn Valley Care Centre since we first became aware that uh, the uh, community case that we had was the healthcare worker who worked at that centre. It's now become apparent that there are other people at that centre who were ill, a number of residents as we know. Um, so far two residents have tested positive. Um, there's ongoing testing and ongoing monitoring of all of the residents at the facility. In addition, <clears throat> excuse me, in addition, uh, one additional healthcare worker has tested positive for COVID-19. She's a woman in her 40s who lives in the Fraser Valley, uh, Fraser Health Authority area, and she is home um, in isolation right now. Um, in addition, we have two new close contacts of uh, Case 21, our community case, a male in his teens and a male in his 50s, and they both reside in the Fraser Health region and are isolated at home, and both of their condition is also stable. Over the weekend as well, we've identified two additional imported cases into, into British Columbia, a female in her 50s who has returned from travel to Iran, and a male in his 30s who is our first imported case with a history of travel to Italy. Both of them are in the uh, Vancouver Coastal Health Region and both again are isolated at home and doing well. Um, I, I will also give an update on our other cases. So we, we still have um, four people who have recovered completely. Uh, we are awaiting uh, testing on a number of others whose symptoms have resolved completely. But uh, as you know, we are requiring people to have negative tests before um, we say that they are fully recovered from this. And a number of them have been tested regularly, but do not yet have two negative tests at least 24 hours apart. So we are monitoring those. We have three people who remain in hospital, um, two people uh, in the Fraser Health region, and they're both in stable condition, and uh, one person who remains in the ICU at Vancouver General Hospital and is also in stable condition. 